Howdy! Welcome to day 15. Um, this is the first day of my third week on my 90 day challenge. And today I really want to talk about feelings and emotions because I've been having some of those. You may be thinking, wait a minute, she's a woman. Don't they have feelings and emotions? Yes, we do. You're very right about that. However, there are varying degrees, as you well know. Now, seriously, the feelings and emotions that I want to talk about today are the ones that pop up on us, the ones that try to get in the way. When we're trying to change things in our life, um, the old habit emotions. So, for example, there's two ways we live our life. We either let life happen to us or we make life happen for us. When I was living my life, letting life happen to me, I was a victim. I was a victim of, of my choices, of other people's choices, and, but I, of course, only saw other people's choices as the reason I was a victim. Um, I had to do a lot of work to recognize my choices, and I did that, and that was really hard to do, but I did it. And um, So I also learned that life is a game, and when you put it in that metaphor and look at life as a game, you can become the coach of your team. And my team consists of a multitude of personalities. Those are my players. And some of them have been getting benched for a while now. And um, a couple of them are kind of upset about that because they've been rearing their ugly little heads, insisting on some play time. So since I'm not going to let them have their way because they're not coachable they like to do their own thing and um, direct me in a bad direction and since I'm the coach now I'm gonna give them a little bit of attention so that they can go away because I'm learning to acknowledge break it down process it let it go talked about that in the last video by the way it's gonna be a long one a little longer than normal but stay till the end you're gonna like it or at least I'm gonna challenge myself so just wait there Okay, so I want to introduce you to my Wheel of Emotions. It's a dollar store flower, <laughs> and this is actually my positive visualization tool, but I thought it would work really good for this today, too. So I, I have lists that I use um, where all this stuff is written down, um, but I got a little more creative today to share this with you because I think that uh, it'll help both of us. And it actually really helped me. So I spent all morning drawing these cards and these are the types of emotions that like to creep up on us. You see, there's all kinds of emotions. And when we're not paying attention, it's kind of like the wind blows and whatever emotion pops up, pops up unexpectedly and that's kind of what has been happening to me this week and uh, I it the first week it wasn't so bad but this week's been tougher the first week I was just juiced I was excited I was ready to go I wanted to do my thing you know um, this last week has been tougher I've had to battle more and these emotions are coming up and the first one I want to talk about is this one being scared. Fear. I battle with the fear of failure. The old self doubts they want their position back on my team, you know. Fear of success. I get scared about success because then I won't need to keep challenging myself. And then the biggest reason is because there's a part of me that still doesn't believe I deserve to succeed. That self-hate thing that I'm working on daily. Um, so these are my cards and on the front I draw a picture of what resembles how I feel. She's looking pretty scared. See her shoulders are all hunched up. Then on the back I write a letter to myself about how that fear, how that emotion, that feeling makes me feel. And this is the good part. And then on the inside is where I go to talk, to talk myself out of that fear, to find things to do, to get over that fear. So as you can see on this one, I wrote, get it out. I also wrote false evidence appearing real. I wrote dissect it, and I really like the dissect it. You see the little doctor stick person down there? 
she's operating on fear. And then I wrote, challenge it, take it on. You want some of me fear? You want some of this? So um, this is my fear card. I think I'm feeling fear this week because I'm a bit overwhelmed. And that is the second emotion we're going to address on the emotional merry-go-round. I'm overwhelmed and scared because I've been giving up things, you know. I've, through this six-month journey, I have let go of a lot of old habits, old thinking, bad habits. Um, and But I still have my Dr. Pepper. I still had my rock stars occasionally. Um, and I still smoke. That's next on the list. Um, but I gave up Dr. Pepper when I started this. And I gave up the last little bit of foods that I did allow myself to eat, you know, when I was feeling lonely, my comfort foods. I didn't buy any. I didn't buy any comfort foods. Anything that is not on this diet is not in this trailer. Because if it's here, that's just ridiculous. Why would I tempt myself by being around things that I don't want in my body? So it's the same concept with coming home to Sacramento scary for me to come here because there's a lot of negative opportunity for me and um, I've realized that just because I live in the same town doesn't mean I have to be in the same environment and I haven't been at all so uh, I don't have that temptation and I do the same thing when I shop I don't put those temptations in my house so when I'm feeling overwhelmed what I really need to do is I need to organize I need a plan and I need to prioritize I also need to remind myself that I got this and I need to not be so hard on myself and I need to look at how far I've come. When I do those things, I can take the fear, I can operate on it, see what all's in there and how really not so powerful it is, how fake it is. You know, you get it out, you say it. Just saying what we're afraid of half of the time can make us realize how silly that fear is. You know. I was afraid to do this video because I knew for one I was going to share these emotions and you know we're scared to share our emotions so it heightened the fear but I was originally afraid to do the video because well my sister has been suggesting that I do a workout video and quite honestly my workout videos are pretty lame at this point I mean I do my arm things I got my little arm things but you know I've seen some of the other videos when you guys are just ooh, doing it and one day I know I'll be there, but right now I, I feel like I'm too lame to video my workout or what I do physically. So, you know, but I love my sister and I want to give her what she wants. So I thought of a cool way to overcome my fear on this. For me, that's to just do it the way that I really do it. So I have this little routine that I do um, when I work out. And so I have my favorite songs right now. There's two of them. And um, one of them is my new favorite song. It was the song that was introduced to me the other day when I had a really great conversation with the girl's father. Thank you, William. Um, he told me about a song that he thought I should listen to. And when I did, and mind you, I don't listen to country music. Look, I already got a country accent. I'm, I was born in Louisiana, and my dad lives in Texas, and yes, I do know how to Texas two stuff, but only because of my dad, so other than that, I've never really liked country music, but I love this song. It's an amazing song, and it really fits me, and so I've been working out to it and singing, on, and that's what I do, and you know, I told you on the last video that I wouldn't sing for you because I sound like fighting cats, so I thought, okay, if I'm going to really conquer my fear on this video and show you guys me working out a little bit um, then I gotta do it the way I do it which is sing my song and work out because that's how I do it so um, just don't throw tomatoes at me ha <laughs> ha you can't this is a camera so happy about that um, and one more thing oh, I totally forgot what I was gonna say okay mind you I don't sing country and um, I'm not all working out like you guys are. My knees are bad. It's later in the day, so I'm not going to do my standing version. I'm going to do my sitting version. And, um, yeah, I guess I should just stop talking about it and be about it, right? Okay, here we go. Let me get my song ready. Tamar, this is for you, sis. 
I am. I love you. And I really, really want to thank you for encouraging me to do this challenge and to start this Vaisalas thing with you because for one, it's bringing us closer. We have something we get to do together. But even more so than that, um, it's just one more huge positive step in me getting healthier, you know? And I'm really excited about being involved in this and this challenge is exciting. And even if I didn't win, I know I'm giving it my best. And that's all that matters in life. That's really all that matters. Okay, I stop because I get emotional over her. It's her fault, really. She'll tell you. <laughs> or, or not. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm probably going to totally screw this up. So I know how to hold a grudge. I can send bridge up in smoke. I can't count the people I let me down. The hearts I broke. You ain't got to dig too deep if you want to find some dirt on me. I'm learning who you've been and who you've got to be. It's going to be a tough hill climb. Oh, honey, I won't lie. I ain't no angel. I still got a few more dances with the devil. I'm cleaning up my act a little by little. Getting there, I can finally stand the woman in the mouth. Ain't as bad as I'm gonna get, but I'm better than I used to be. I pinned a lot of demons to the ground. I've just got a few old habits left, but there's still one thing. Help me yet Stand in the rain for so long Just left me with a little rust to my knees But put some faith in me Someday you'll see There's a diamond under all this dust Angel I still got a few more dances With the devil Cleaning up my ass Little by little, I'm there. I can barely stand the woman I see. I see. I ain't as good as I'm gonna get, but I'm better than I used to be. I still got a few more dances with the devil. But I'm cleaning up my act little by little. I'm in there. I can finally stand the moment I see. I ain't as good as I'm gonna get, but I'm better than. Well, there you go, sis. Um, I did a little bit of a workout. So, I really want to say thank you guys for watching this video. This one was really hard for me to do because I was scared to show me on tape working out. Because I felt like I was going to look silly with some two-pound weights. And um, <laughs> I was embarrassed. So, I'm probably... A little emotional about that right now because I was scared to do it and I did it. And um, now I gotta post it, <laughs> which is okay. That's the I did it part, and I'm gonna push past the scared to post it part because I know there's other people out there who feel like I feel right now, maybe who haven't even started the challenge yet, who are afraid that they can't do it or don't believe in themselves. And let me tell you what, there is a time 
when I didn't believe in myself at all and I never ever could have guessed that I would be where I am today emotionally. I'm so much stronger than I ever was. I cry, I cry a hell of a lot more though. But that's good. That's really good. It's the crying that, that is strength. It takes strength to be vulnerable and show our emotions, you know? It doesn't take strength to be perfect. It's a lot of work, but it doesn't take strength. It's just a lot of work and for nothing, you know? And so, <laughs> I just realized I did it. I made the video. Okay, and I know that probably is silly too. Look at me still worrying. I'm obviously going to do some time reading my cards tonight. I also want to say thank you to Vaisalis for putting on this video challenge thing because whether I win or lose, I'm learning something in these videos. I'm pushing through the fears here, and that's really helping me to stick to my diet. That and the shakes taste really good. I'm not even going to lie. They taste, they taste good. Okay, well, that's it. I'm going to let this be done now so I can post it and stop procrastinating. Okay, I'm going to post it. It's going down. I got this. I'm better than I used to be. I love y'all. Have a great night.